some bags under my eyes, but I think that's what you get when you decide to sleep on a couch for two days straight instead of actually pulling out your futon. But anyway, less of that, more about what the title of the video is. Um, let's talk about being actually present in the moment and how hard that is. Some of my struggles with it. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you struggling with this? And like really taking notice of it too. Because there's something that I did not realize was such a problem of mine until I started doing yoga and having that being a constant reminder thrown at me. It's like one of the favorite things that each instructor likes to say is like your main focus of the thing is being present, leaving everything out of the room, leave all of the shit from your job, from your relationship, from your friends, from whatever the hell else is stressing you out, out of this room. Because right the frick now, we are talking about actually being in the room, focusing on a practice, stay in the four corners of your mat, yada yada yada. And that's fucking difficult. <laughs> I started doing it and it especially taking a break in the middle of the day, as I mentioned in my day in the life video I did recently, to escape work and to go and do that I, has been extremely helpful and has really helped me be a little more focused in life and then also just be more productive when I'm actually doing the work. Like my work seems to get done much quicker now, which is really great. But also on top of that, it then of course echoed over into everything else because nothing just stays in this little category most of the time. And I realized that I, when I walk, when I'm talking to people, when I'm just moving throughout my life, there's very little time where I am totally focused on what is happening. I don't take stock of the colors around me or the feeling on my skin or even just listening to the current music playing in the coffee shop or wondering about the conversation at hand so many times I am half listening half paying attention and then focused on something else and whether it's planning for the next day or daydreaming or you know kind of like spiraling off into the astral randomly like it's one of those things where I appreciate that I can detach from what is currently happening Easily. It helps me meditating when I'm trying to contact my deities. It helps me when I'm trying to seek out something in the astral or see a sign or You know, there's a lot of I guess magical witchy life benefits when you cannot focus on that type of thing But while I have a natural I guess ability to do that I also have been realizing that that means that I don't have the best way of staying focused in the moment I struggle to really focus on a specific thing that I'm doing. I end up letting my brain not focus on actually being present. And it's amazing to me how when I'm starting to do it, because yoga has been really helping me, like, no, you have to stay present because a lot of the poses are still very, very hard for me or and I can't focus and the teacher is reminding me to always come back to my breath and it's like a constant pushing me to be in that focus in the moment, right? And so I'm starting to do that now when I'm just like at the coffee shop and working on a small bit of thing, listening to the clicks and the sounds. I'm not listening to my music as much when I go on walks. Sometimes I just go on a walk to take in the sounds of my environment, to be present in my environment and to listen to all the sounds and the noises and take it all in. I am present more so when I am creating things. It's funny how there's so many times I will be like spacing out while drawing or writing and then wondering why it's taking me so long to like get a thing done. Well, I'm not 100% focused on it. And when I am focused, I notice all the colors seem a little more saturated. Everything seems a little more high definition. Everything seems way more in tune and I feel more connected to my space. I don't feel so like a person energy being floating in a weird, I don't know, space that I just don't feel connected to. And that has happened to me a lot. A lot of times I have felt, whether here in Portland or any of the places I have lived, you know, it's, a lot of, has changed with the environment change and I've realized that yes, this is a much better place for me. 
but also I am realizing that you know, again like with everything it's not just an environment change it's also like who's the person in the environment maybe they need to change as well and one of the changes that I made is that hey it doesn't matter where you are in your environment if you're not focused on it if you're not in the moment in that environment who cares whether it's the desert or the pine trees or you know a swampy bayou like all of these places can be very vastly different but if you're in your head and somewhere else not actually experiencing the environment and the nature around you what's it matter where you are and that is something that i think it happens not just of course with witches and pagans because we're trying to tap into things that are other that are outside that are just beyond the veil it also just happens with a bunch of different people because we're so worried about what's happening next in our lives or you know what's that thing i have to do you know the planner idea like what's next on my to do today like worrying about that or like when you're in a conversation with someone and like you know that whole thing where like they're saying their name and you're so worried about how what's the next thing you're gonna say and analyzing them and everything that you then miss their name and you're like fuck what was your name what what ah like that it's the not being present is the over thinking and letting your brain go to a place that it just it why are you over there why not be in the moment and i think sometimes again everything's always a balance we don't need to be in the moment all the damn time separating from the moment has been very very helpful for me in many occasion but working now towards actually taking in the sensations the feel of my five senses whether that's what I'm currently touching, what I'm currently smelling, what I'm currently tasting, what I'm currently feeling the tensions in my body and all of that stuff. And really taking in the moment, being as present as possible. And when I'm really having a hard time with that, coming back to my breath, just like I do with yoga. I sit down and I think, okay, inhale, exhale. I'm not trying too hard with it. And I'm just trying to take notice of it, that's it. Try not to put pressure on it, because I do do that too. I get super like, okay, am I breathing well? <laughs> it's like, no, we're not evaluating the breathing. We're just taking notice of it. I'm not evaluating the sounds. I'm not thinking about how much I like the song that's playing in the coffee shop. I'm just listening to it. What are the actual lyrics playing right now? What are all the things currently happening right now? What is all the stuff? And I think I want to do this a lot more. You know, I think I almost want to seclude my out of body, I guess, you know, detach me from what is happening in this world right now to sitting at the altar to certain moments with my headphones on type of deal and let that be less and less and less because I also wonder a lot about making magic happen manifesting being in that moment of focusing on what you actually want to bring into your life and if you are not actually in the moment and cannot feel into what it would feel like to have that thing right now in this moment with you if you're constantly searching and feeling as if it is all separate and detached and not quite a part of your reality then how in the world are you ever supposed to manifest it there are certain times where I feel really, really struggle to manifest certain things and to make my magic work, you know, to get that spell result I really want. And a lot of times they fall a little short, something goes wrong, some, something happens. And I've realized, well, maybe it's because I'm not in the moment. Maybe it's because I'm not hyper-focusing on this world and accepting it for what it is because to be present, to really be focused in the moment, you have to let go of every little thing you were thinking about and every little thing you're hoping for, overthinking, anticipating. So much of our thoughts are on things that are not in right now, right? Like it's always in the future or the past or that weird random exploration of characters from that tv show that you were like i could have written the story better like so many times 
we just aren't thinking about right now and but we want to manifest what we want to manifest right now <laughs> so how do we do that if we're living half of our lives in our brain somewhere else i don't know just some thoughts i've been having struggles i've been having with the whole living the moment thing something i'm going to now try now really hyper focus on in the moment and not allow for that wandering of my mind except for in very specific circumstances at my altar um right before bed maybe early mornings maybe i'll allow like one of my walks because i go on multiple walks a day now uh, maybe one of the walks will be allowed to let my brain just kind of wander while the other one will be very hyper aware taking in my surroundings what's going on type of deal so i can really focus in and hopefully that'll kick up my magic and maybe make me feel even more connected to this amazing place that i've gotten myself to so anyway comment down below do you have trouble connecting to your current moment do you feel always kind of detached uh, maybe it's really hard for you to get out of the moment maybe you're like no i've got the opposite problem i can't see into what my future could be or or imagine different scenarios it's very very hard to get out there and use my third eye and you know get into the astral or any of that type of stuff all that down below and i make new videos every single week and i will talk to you guys later bye